good morning folks um, thanks again for making comments about our videos there's a couple reasons why I appreciate it is one of them is because I'm curious to know what people are looking at and what they have questions about because it's a lot of things I take for granted and or haven't thought of so um, it's interesting to me and uh, Steve got a hold of us and wanted to know how I can make this horse turn and move around without moving my hand well that's that's why the spade bit horse Steve that's why we do this and it takes years as I've already told you but the point is it's all done with my body and you got to know that in the, when I'm in the corral with cattle and I'm working an alley or peeling off a herd or whatever I'm doing as soon as she knows which animal you're after then you don't even use your body you just stay out of her way so you got to know that that's why I'm so adamant about saying that a spade bit horse is a ranch horse so to get her to get her going but at the younger age you teach them to listen to your body my hand is to keep her balanced on the hindquarters so when I pick up she moves back to the hindquarters so now I want to back up so if you watch my feet I take my legs off and I just ask the horse to back up by leaning back now if I need her to back up faster I just wake her up and say okay you need to back up my legs are off my spine is in I get my seat bones as high as I can so that my spine is bent here it's curved you actually ride a horse right above your belt and through your breathing that's how you actually do all this stuff okay on top of that are the leg cues and everything else so now I want to go that way so I drop my left seat bone I put my left calf on and the horse goes to the right now same thing if I need more if you'll watch my left toe something you got to understand about spurs is that when you roll your foot that's the cue for the horse all I got to do is roll my foot all right, if I need it quicker, then I make contact with the spur, the horse will move faster. So this can go all the way up to a, a lope. So now from the front, I'm going to move to the left. So I drop my right seat bone, take my left leg off, and turn my right leg out, and the horse walks sideways. So if I left, right, now I'm turning my skull because that helps school a horse. And when you're working cattle in an alleyway, you don't turn your head. You keep looking at your cattle. You don't take your eye off your cattle. So your horse learns to compensate. And like I told you, if they got cow in them, you just need to be very quiet and stay out of their way as soon as they figure out what you want. Now, one of the drawbacks of, that I've noticed with people riding and working cattle and everything if you can't separate the front end from the hind quarter, you're going to be in trouble. You'll get hurt. It's just a matter of time. So to disengage the hind quarter, I simply displace my weight to the front and then put my leg back. If I put my right leg back, my horse goes that way. Pick her up. Here's my left hand picking her up. My right leg is on. And the hind quarter walks around. Left, I displace my weight. Turn my foot out. Now remember what I'm telling you, you gotta turn your foot out to use a spur. English riders polish their boots. That's all they do. Western riders kick their back cinch. Well, neither one of those work real well. So you need to actually turn your toe out and make contact if you want. Back up, side pass, hind quarter. Now the forehand is done with your left shoulder. You put your leg on, front end comes around. Right shoulder open, front end comes around. Left shoulder open, front end comes around. Now all I gotta do is change it up, and the hind quarter comes around. And I can bring the front end across. So to answer your question, your hand balances the horse through the spade bit, your body does all the lateral work and stop and turn it. Now stopping is simply, I 
like I said, you rise up on your seat bones and you simply sit down. So when you sit down and exhale, the horse stops. Now, you notice I do everything at a walk. Okay, well, I do run. And my horse will slide to a stop running if that's what I need. Now, if I'm chasing a cow, I just let my horse do what it wants to. But I don't rip their head off to stop them. I sit down and the horse stops. Well, they can't stop on their hindquarter unless they're bridled up the way I want them. I want them to sit down. I hope that answers your question, Steve. Thanks a lot.